Hey guys, there he is. A little white bass here. Look how small his little head is in his mouth. I don't even know how he got this thing. There he is. There he goes. And he hit the uh, Spro McStick drift bait, 110 size. So, you know, we just had a good cold front come in. We just had a good amount of rain, about two inches. So, I'm sure it brought some oxygen into the lake and cooled it down a lot. And probably really, it's probably really cold now. So, um, it's really on like one probably in the afternoon. So, we'll see if we get any more. I've been out here a good hour or two. If nothing really starts to bite, I'm gonna probably come back around five or so. And I'm at a little different marina. Area is a lot deeper. Even though the lake is super low, as you can see how low it is. And this used to be all water up here. This is just so deep. So, we'll see if we get any more. Another uh, white bass on, guys, on the McStick. little better size one let me get him unhooked really fast guys there there he is another white bass he's actually a pretty good size one or a hybrid whatever you guys like to call him I haven't caught any of these this year I don't believe caught a lot last year but not this year not a bad size one he feels like a two pounder there he goes again on the Spro McStick 110 that's in a spooky shad color and that's mostly like your your natural ghost minnow color right there so fishing it's pretty deep water in here even though it's really shallow it's pretty deep it's got to get down to around 20 feet in this little canal right here the farther I go up of course it gets a lot shallower it's usually a lot deeper in here but the other marina I've been fishing has been so shallow. I'll probably try there after I leave here, but it's just so shallow, it's not even funny. The only reason I was catching fish before over there is because they were pushing all the bait fish in there and they were feeding. I think after that cold front and all this rain, I'm not sure if they're going to be up there. I tried the past two days and didn't get a single hit, so we'll see if we get some more over here. Alright guys, back to the other shallow marina. Got a large on the McStick. 110 There we go There we go guys, look at that guy, he is odd looking, his head looks really strange, he is fat though, he's a two pounder right there, decent fish, let's go ahead and put him back. Off he goes, and again guys I switched to the other marina, the really shallow one, first hit. I was out here 15 minutes. Went to the other marina, caught two hybrids, and that was it. So we'll see if we get any more, and then I'll probably come back later on and see if we can get some more. So we'll see. Bass on a popper, guys. Came back out today. Just got here a little late. Could have came earlier, but came out to the same marina I've been catching most of the bass at in my other videos. They're really shallow marina. Good largemouth on. He 
he's not ready to come in, that's for sure. There we go. Pig. That's what I'm talking about. Good fish. Yes. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Remember to see bubble popper. 2.5 inches. Yes. That's what I'm talking about right there. Let's get a weight. Oh yeah. Three. Gotta be in three. Three pound range, maybe four. Oh man, I hit four. Three thirteen. Man. Almost a four pounder. Oh, yes. What a freaking tank. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, baby. That is a freaking hog. Yeah. That is what I'm talking about. There he goes. Pumped up. There it is. Little river to see bubble popper. Not sure on the color. I hope we can get some more. Got him. Keep them down, look like another good fish. It's another good fish, guys. Wow. He's jumping like crazy. I have my rod tip in the water deep, too. On my knees for this guy. This looks like another good fish. running at me. Oh, he's not that big. He's still, he's still a good one. Oh, he's side hooked now because he spit it. When he's jumping, he spit it. And now he's got, oh no, I got him hooked in the corner there. Yes. Boom, baby. Yeah. talking about heck yeah and a nice cold front came in got a lot of rain probably uh, reoxygenate or put more oxygen into the water all my lines on this gripper here there you go Give him a weight. Oh yeah. Three and a half pounds. Yes. Boom baby. That's what I'm talking about. Two, three pounders. Yes. Freaking hog. That's what I'm talking about. There he goes. <laughs> yes. Guys, I got a monster on. Oh my God. 
Oh my god, guys. I got a monster on. Could be my biggest bass of my life right here. Oh my god. It might be the biggest bass. It looks like a monster. I could be overreacting. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's caught some baits rattle trip. Oh my god. I don't think he might. He looks big. He looks really big. Oh my god. He might not be as big as I thought, but he looks big. Oh. Come here, please. Please, please, please. Oh my god. He looks awfully big. He looks awfully big, dude. Oh my god. I don't think he's that big. I had to think of... I might have overreacted on this guy. Oh my god. I thought he was a monster. Huh. He looks still like a good fish. Uh, he jumped out of the water and I thought he was a pig. My heart's racing. <laughs> uh, it's a good fish though. I'm not sure how big he is. Oh, oh man, he's big. It's a really good fish. Uh, my heart's pounding, guys. I'm not sure how big he is. Hold on, I gotta reweigh him. Four pounds on the dot. Oh, ain't the biggest fish of my, of my life, that's for sure, but, oh my God. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Heck yeah. Four pounds. Boom! Oh, I am pumped. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Oh my God, guys. Whew. Heart is pounding. Four pounder. Piz. Custom colored rail trap. Kind of Cordell. Custom colored by Piz. Custom baits. Big old four pounder. Yeah. Oh. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you. There she goes. Yeah! All right, guys. I'm out of here for tonight. Caught three really, really good-sized bass. I was really pumped. Thought I had the biggest bass that I've had on. But he weighed uh, four pounds, one ounce. And that's still a really, really good bass. Really good Illinois bass. And I caught that four-pounder on a cotton cordell custom paint job by Piz Custom Baits. It's in like an orange and cream white color. I believe it's like a half ounce or three size, I believe. And that's why I caught that four pound one ouncer on and then I caught two really good three and a half and three pounds thirteen ounces on the um, River to Sea Bubble Popper. Fishing off off this pier right here. Out into like the mouth of a creek, sort of. The creek's over here, but kind of just runs out and this is like the mouth of it and um, went out here the past couple days and I haven't had any hits went to a different marina in some deeper water caught two white bass or hybrid bass whatever you want to call them and that was it came back here caught one large mouth that you saw on the uh, Spro mix stick 110 that's why I caught the hybrids on also Took a break, came back, went to the same area and I caught the hybrids. Had one smallmouth on on the McStick, he jumped off. Fished her for about another hour. Left, came here. Caught those two really nice three pounders and a four pounder. Really pumped about that. Haven't caught three bass that big in a while. So, kind of overreacted. That last one, man, when he jumped, I thought that was a good five pounder. 
That would have been the biggest bass I've caught out here. I, sh I thought he was five pounds. The biggest one I've caught out of this lake was 413. So, um, yeah, those three fish made it worth it. Don't even care if I didn't catch any other ones. So, um, hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, catch you guys later.